Hey guys, it's Brunzo and Boog, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, and Merry Kwanzaa. And I and this is what I got for Christmas this year. One of the things I wanted to review with you guys. It's a potato set. It's from 1968, I think. On the railroad. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open it. I have piece by parts right there because I ran out of plastic pieces. Here is a body. Here's another body I'm going to be using. And those bodies, did they come with it? Yeah. Okay. And these are these are cars. See on the box how they have like they put those. Oh. oh, they're like little train cars, but you made a carrot car and a potato car. Mm-hmm. It goes right there. These are some instructions. And I would like to share with you some pretty cool instructions. And it shows you all the sets I do need to get. I need to get this set, the moon set. Mr. Potato Head on the Moon. Mm -hmm. I need to get this parade one. And this is the one that you have now, the yeah. railroad? Yeah. This is what we're going to review now? Yeah. Okay. I need to get this. Mr. Parade. Potato Head at the parade and on the farm. Ooh, that's a cute one. And it shows you all the food you can use up there. Here's how to make Mr. Potato Head. Ask mom to give you any fruit or vegetable. Add a body, hands, and feet. Ears, eyes, nose, and mouth. Then add any one of the many accessories and create your own adventure. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I am going to get the moon set, hopefully. I don't know about the other two ones. They're a lot. Yeah. That's what I've seen on eBay. Here's the other side. Ooh, these ones are rare. Uh, yeah, these Mr. ones. Mr. Potato Head, mm -hmm. Wild West. Mm-hmm. Wild West. With these three play sets, you get a full color background scene to add fun and adventure with Mr. Potato Head. Each play set contains over 80 pieces. Ooh, there's the circus. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I hope I'll get these three for Christmas next year. Mr. Potato Head Masquerade play set. That's the rarest one because I haven't seen any of those on eBay. So, then I only see the one on like Worth Point. But the circus one, those ones are pretty rare too. Mm -hmm. but this has, you can send, mail away a thing to Hasbro and get your own box with pieces. And oh, yeah, what's in there? Mm -hmm. Just extra pieces, a whole bunch of extra pieces. Oh, wow, that so I'm going to be building. And these are the hats right here. For the train conductors? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be building one. So I have like plastic pieces. So Oh, okay. So I'm gonna build the, the orange dude. Very squeaky. And I'm gonna a mustache and a red nose. So where do you get these fruits that you use in case there's people out there that wanna well, I get Make them from them. thrift stores. They're plastic. They're they're just they're not from any potato head set. They're just from like Ark thrift store. You can get these literally like at any thrift store. Just fake fruit. Yeah. Fake so you fruit. don't waste real yeah stuff, food and stuff, or have it rotting because you stuck things and kept it. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. And there we go. Hey, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let me build hair as the Whoa, main he's a conductor. little top heavy, sorry. Main conductor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use his blue hat for him, for the blue conductor. His head's a little heavy. He's gonna tip, sorry. <laughs> Let's see here, I'm gonna put him just right here, so everyone can see. So and I'm gonna take this blue hat, put it on this one. Which I already put eyes on. Actually, I'm gonna take some hairs. 
I'm gonna be doing a potato head collection video in the future because I'm gonna get a bookshelf in my room and I'm gonna put the potatoes on there and I'm gonna do a collection. It's gonna be there you go, it's gonna be really cool. There we go. Yeah. A mustache and a nose too. What's your favorite mustache? Do they only have one kind? Uh, no, but the, the original 1952 came with di different mustaches, but I think they stopped making different mustaches. And uh, there you go. That's the uh, first conductor. Awesome. And I'm going to do this body. It was originally going to be this body. So you can see how like this can fit in here a little bit. But it makes it wobbly. Oh yeah. Probably gonna tape that later. But um, that took too long, so I'm just gonna use another yellow body. What do you like the most about this set? I don't know. I just like, I don't know what I like about this set. It's just really cool. And creative. I like how you can make little cars out of they Please. sent wheels and a little train front end. It's kind of cool. Mm hmm. Go. Pretty cool. And then here are the cards that I made for them. See the sides of them too with their wheels. Pretty cool. I'll take the carrot car. <laughs> and as an added bonus in this video, I also have. Oh, I better stack all this very quickly. Something really cool that I would like to share with all of you. That's a set that I have actually been waiting to get for a long a while. That's pretty awesome. It's not actually a set, it's just it's just um a thing that's really cool from like the fifties and it's awesome and I can't believe I also got it for Christmas and it's super really cool, but first I gotta put this guy back on together. Red nose. Very cute. Uh, this is the other thing. I'm gonna take the plastic cuff though in the sack. It's a Mr. Potato Head pencil holder. It's Hasbro's, Hasbro, or Hassenfeld Brothers is their original name. Actually specialized in school supplies. And they made this after they made Mr. Potato Head. Oh, wow. Does it say what the date is on there? No. But. How old is that, would you say? It's probably from the 50s, cause they're, because it's like, it, it, their, their, their heads are just like food, so it's probably actually, from, so it's probably from the 50s, like after Mr. Potato Head popular. Also, fun fact, when Mr. Potato Head first came out, it made one trillion dollars in its first year. It was one of Hasbro's highest toys in the making. And they're from Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. That's like it's not even close to Colorado. Is it? No. Nope. That's on the East Coast. East Coast of America. Alright. Let's see what's going on with this. this Aww. It's been used and loved by some kids. Yeah, I'm gonna probably not use it, but I'm gonna love it. Not use it though, because I don't want to ruin it. But this part folds it out. Oh, there's a little drawer in there mm -hmm. to keep some things, like maybe some pencils, pencils. or colored pencils. Crayons here. Oh yeah. I think the erasers might have gone here, and and, and I don't know what goes here. Maybe just more pencils. It's in pretty good shape considering it was a kid's and it's from the pretty 50s. old. It's pro it's like it's like um fifty some years old. No, it's it's um I don't know how old it is. But 
Before we end the video, I have to say something. Mr. Potato and Mrs. Potato and their two kids. Why does his daughter have an apple head? And why does his son have an onion head? Oof. That is a question that everyone has, that, that has ready to answer for everyone. They're a family of different variety. Yeah, different variety. Well, before I end the video, I better just put these guys right here because they would look cool. But I am sure, but I, I hopefully will get uh, as not, more potato head sets because I will get more because we're baiting on one. And the bid ends tomorrow and I really hope we win it because I really want to do the video for you guys because it comes with a whole bunch of cool sets that I want to show you including the moon set that I don't have yet but I will eventually hopefully win it so because we're the highest bidders but bye subscribe like and subscribe share this video with everybody